what hit the economy first was a housing slump. Fears spread to Wall Street. Consumers tightened their purse strings. The U.S. Federal Reserve cut its key interest rate by half a point. The I word, inflation, is coming to the fore. Major developments on the lending crisis in the U.S. Oil and gold prices are spiking. Nuclear strike right here on our financial market. And it's market. complicated as of where we are in the election cycle. Huge disconnect between Wall Street and Main Street. Where do you draw the line with our money? It is not your money. In fact, it if anybody is, could, if anybody it could is taxpayers' it, money. We'll, we'll get it passed. Uh, I came back and suspended my campaign. Mr. President, I've received 91,000 phone calls and emails from California. 85,000 of them opposed to this measure. I think if we really do care about the livelihood of our constituents, Time's there's only one vote, and it is yes. But in the end of the day, there's no real separation between Wall Street and Main Street. There's only the road we're traveling on as Americans. I urge my colleagues to join me in supporting this important legislation. And it comes down to one word, jobs. Jobs, so we can create jobs in our country. People have to know that this isn't about a bailout of, of Wall Street. We look forward to working closely with Congress to resolve this financial crisis. So I propose that the federal government reduce the risk posed by these troubled assets and supply urgently needed money so banks and other financial institutions can avoid collapse and resume lending. And here we go. Investors unloaded stocks in a frenzy on Monday. It came on the heels of another interest rate cut in the U.S. But more than a half million Americans lost their jobs in November. Congressman, this is getting out of control. What we're doing today is going to make things much worse. President Obama, are you listening? Contrary to the rumors that you've heard, I was not born in a manger. I was actually born on Krypton and sent here to save the planet Earth. Project 2012 is a peaceful, grassroots revolution led by America's youth. We will pioneer Politics 2.0 and make sure that 2012 is the year of youth. With a national field program spanning the country, we will engage with local communities in all 50 states. And with headquarters in the belly of the beast, we will send a powerful signal that the future belongs to us. This will begin with the youth, but it will also affect every American. So we invite all concerned citizens to help us build the most ambitious political project in American history and send us to Washington. Visit us today at yearofyouth.org.